quick decisions without thinking. So the stakes are high. Repeat, stakes are high. Stakes are high. This is a situation. Stakes are very high. Now I'll explain this more afterwards. So we have a we have a mouse here. It wants it wants it wants the it wants the food. Yeah. Now I'll explain this more. So that's our story. Getting a job. So. So before a job, I mentioned a student. What do you remember about the student? Something about grades. You have to have good grades or bad grades? Good grades. And you want good grades sometimes or all the time? All the time. Do you remember what the word was for that? 95% average over four years. Yeah, right. So 90% over four years. Now, what kind of person is that? Do you remember the word? Right. Consistent. Consistent. Right. So the student must be consistent. And after graduating, what you want to join a company. So what's the next step? What do you have to do? Interview, right? And what is an interview like for many people? Is it a happy experience? Yeah, so it's nerve-wracking. Right, very good. So during an interview, usually we meet the interviewer for the first time. So it's what is it's very important, right? For we meet someone for the first yeah. Yeah, so first impression is right. And the last one. 
So again, now you have a team, you're working together. Is everything easy? No. no sometimes it's difficult. And then why is it difficult for a company sometimes? Many ideas. Many ideas. What else? Is a company trying to make money? No. I mean, sometimes a well, company wants to make money, right? Yes. Okay, so sometimes why is it difficult though in making decisions? Different opinions. Different opinions, right? And sometimes what happens if you make a wrong decision? Yeah, you can lose a lot of money. No one wants to lose money. Not me. So what do you, what did I say about the situation? Three words. Stakes are high. This is I think the maybe the hardest word I've always said, you know. I'll talk about it more. So, a student wants to be consistent, right? Consistent. So, a consistent student, what, what does he do? Mm, high high grades, grade. yeah. High now, is it when? Just today? No. Oh. Four years. Yeah, four years. Four years. Four years. So, for, to be consistent, it's not just for students, it's just everybody. So, for a student, if you want to be consistent, you want good grades on four years. So what do you think it means to be consistent? Is, is something changing or is it the same? Same. Right, it's the same. So if something is consistent, being the same, that's very important. So... So not changing in action, consistent. So, so we start the class at 9 o'clock, right? But usually everyone's here by 9.30, right? <laughs> so when I come in at 9 o'clock, there are always some students here early. Like I see Heyong and Hon. Now they're always here, every day, sitting in the same seat, always. <laughs> So, do you think they're consistent or not consistent? consistent? Oh, they're very consistent. Every day, same time, same seat. So they're not, not changing. It's, it's the same. Right. So we can have... Let me give you an example sentence. sentence, his blank is consistent. So, what can be consistent? So, when they come to class every day, same time, that's an action, right? So, people's actions, actions can be consistent. Sometimes, when time changes, people have different styles, right? But sometimes people's styles are very consistent too. What else? Personality. Personality is right. So, so people who are uh, consistent, they don't change. If someone is sick, but they want to come to class, and they're going to be coughing <coughs> for two hours. What is this? What am I doing? Coughing, right? You can say his cough is consistent. So if someone coughs and doesn't stop, coughing, yeah, so any kind of action again. Coughing is an action. And I see this a lot in sports too. So, you know, what is the sport when you're doing this? Oh, oh. oh and, what, and what is this specifically? What is this? Swings. Right, so in golf, 
your golf swing is very important, right? If you're off by just one degree, just a little, the ball's going to go low over there, not straight. So I know in sports, sometimes they say his swing, his golf swing is very consistent. It doesn't change. Always the same, so the ball goes straight. Consistent. What's the opposite of consistent? Very easy. It's not a trick question. Very close. Inconsistent. So, yeah, opposite. Now, nerve wracking. When did when do people feel nerve? I mean, um, what makes us? Uh, what is nerve wracking? Stressful. No, not the meaning, but what is. In, in our story, what is nerve-wracking? Interviews. Interviews is nerve-wracking, right. So if interviews can be nerve-wracking, what else can be nerve-wracking? Tests. Tests, exactly. I was thinking about this. Tests can be nerve-wracking, too. How about, so, I, when I began teaching about two years ago, do you think that was nerve-wracking? Teaching first time. Yes. Yes. yes, teaching up here, teaching for the first time. Always. It's nerve wracking unless you're very confident. When you first taught, was it nerve wracking? Yes. So she's a teacher, a Chinese teacher. So you've been teaching 10 years, right? When you first taught, first day, was it nerve wracking? So maybe? So what is nerve wracking? How, if something is nerve-wracking, how does it make me feel? Exciting. Exciting? So in an interview, are you excited? Yes. Really? Yeah. Not for me. In an interview, I feel very nervous. Right? You, when you're taking a test, do you feel nervous? Yeah, so you, maybe you studied a lot, but you still feel nervous. So if something is nerve-wracking, it makes you feel very nervous. Yeah. Not just a little, a lot. So for me, when I, when I teach here, Sometimes I, I still feel a little nervous when I teach. But then it's just a little, not very nervous. So that's not, teaching isn't nerve wracking, no. It's a, if it's a lot, then it's nerve wracking. Interviews, tests, what else can be nerve wracking? How about this? Who, who watches football? Anyone? Well, football, what's the biggest competition in football? World Cup, right? So let's compare a regular football game and a World Cup football game. If you're a football player, which one is more nerve-wracking? Regular soccer, football game or a World Cup game? World Cup game is a lot more nerve-wracking. It's more serious. Yeah, it's, it's a bigger competition. Okay, so sports games, testing, interviews, all can be nerve-wracking. So again, this can be in any, any situation. Test, interview, sports game, Now, in the interview, we talked about impressions. Yeah. So, impressions are, are they important or unimportant? Important. Especially when you're meeting someone for the first time. I was reading a, a study report, and some people say that it's different for different studies. Some people say people make an impression of you in less than one second. 
when they first see you. Some people say people make impressions in less than seven seconds. So when we meet someone, we're thinking about them right away. We're looking at what they're wearing, how they talk, um, how they look, looking at um, how they're acting, how they're moving. We all think about that. We might not think about it, but very shortly, in less than one second, we're thinking about that. So what do you think an impression is? Now, if you make an impression of someone, do you think it's always true? No, no, no. no not always true. So. And also, when you're making an impression, are you are you thinking about it a lot? Deep thinking? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking no. Or is it very quick thinking? Quick thinking. Quick thinking. Right. So you're thinking about someone, but again, it could be true, maybe not true. And it's always quick, snap, like that. So when you, when in an interview, in less than seven seconds, so they can see what kind of person you are, they have an idea. Sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not true. So Natia, you have a lot of experience with this, right? Yes. Can you tell us about it? <laughs> maybe. maybe. Uh, some interview interview me, you look uh, for the impression is really good. Yeah. But when you ask question and the answer you you know maybe that he has no knowledge. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so again, not always true. So Nancy was saying when she interviews someone, in the beginning she was thinking, Oh, I have a good impression of that person. But they continue talking, oh no, it wasn't true. So again, sometimes true, sometimes not true. And always quick. So when I first met Thai people, I had a very good impression of Thai people. Why? Everyone's very nice to me, very friendly, helping me out, very kind. So how do we use the word impression? You can so you can have an impression of someone. That means you have an opinion of someone. You can also give an impression. How do you give an impression? So if you're giving an impression, that's what it's how you make someone feel. So let's say, let's say it's my first day teaching here, mm -hmm. and I met you for the first time. And I was teaching, and at 11 o'clock we ended the class. I said thank you, and every if everyone is smiling, then I am thinking, ah, I think I, I did a good job. I think I gave a good impression of myself. Why? Everyone is smiling, everyone is talking to me, everyone is very kind to me. I think I gave a good impression. So how you make someone feel. So if you give a good impression, then people have a good impression, people have a good impression of you. So to have an impression is you're thinking about someone. And to give an impression is, it's how you make someone feel. Slightly different. So let's say, be myself. So impressions, again, a very common word is first impression. Yeah, so 
So why, why is this? So we don't say second impressions, third impressions, tenth impressions, no. It's a very common thing to say first impressions because again, first is the most important. Yeah, once you make an impression, usually it doesn't change. Usually it sticks, it doesn't change. So we say first impressions are important. Factor. What is a factor? So there were a couple of factors I mentioned that help someone get into a company. What is one factor that helps? Experience. Experience, right. What's another factor I talked about? Attitude. Attitude, experience, right. Those are important. So what do you think a factor is? Take a guess. This is a little hard one, I think. Factors. Is it helping you or is it is it something that doesn't help you? Yeah. It helps you, yeah. So you make a decision. Yes, helps. So you should there's some kind of result you want. So for in this story, the result you want is you want to get into the company. So how does it help to get into a company? Experience, attitude, and important things. So factors are something. Cars, 
Watch them. Watch So again, these cars are emitting all this smoke in the air, and then it's not good for the air. Yeah. So pollution is one factor of global warming. So this is helping create global warming. It's one factor. How about let's think of one more thing. Students that are successful students who go to a good university, what is what are some factors to help them go to a university? High grades. They go to good high schools. Maybe tutoring. Those are.